Uh, gonna grab the offensive rebound, goes back up strong. Gets the layup. Buries it. And he would throw it down to build on their lead. Too fast break Friday. He goes for three on the wing from deep. Is open in the corner. He hits a three. Hey, hey. Hey everyone and welcome to Fast Break Friday. It's week four for high school basketball in the state of Michigan. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Eight high school basketball games coming your way tonight. Plus, we'll be presenting our WNEM Play of the Night. In addition to that, we'll look ahead at two matchups that are finalists for next Friday's Game of the Week. I love it. So, let's get right to the action. Fast Break Friday Game of the Week. Sponsored by the Saginaw Career Complex at Saginaw ISD. This week, our Game of the Week features All Saints traveling to take on Garber. The Cougars drill in the second half, but try to rally back. They find Jacob Meyer. He drills the triple. The Dukes stay strong, though. The drive and dish to Max Fellow shows off the power and gets the two to go. Garber keeps rolling. They're going to give it to Owen Prokopenko in the corner. His three is pure. All Saints not giving up, though. It's Arnell Sumlar going to do it himself. Stops. Nice pump fake and then gets it to go. But the Dukes would pull away. Cody Cedarberg going to come off the screen, pull up from mid-range, and bury it. Garber takes down All Saints tonight, 70-48. Now to some holiday tournament action in Cr uh, Crosswell, Lexington. Bad Axe meets up with Mount Morris. The Panthers are off to a solid 6-2 start this season. In the fourth game tie, Damian Blackstock gets the inbound and shoots the three, nails it as the Hatchets take the lead. Tied again, Brett Wolford is wide open from three, misses. There's a fight for the ball. Wolford gets the and lays it up and takes the lead back. Bad Axe down two with under a minute to go, but Blackstock would get the steal. Timothy Hutchinson gets the ball and puts up a tough layup that goes in. We are tied with seconds remaining, but the Hatchets were called for a foul with five seconds left. Wolford would hit both free throws. One last chance. Hutchinson would get the ball here as he would go for the tie. Too hard off the glass. Ball Morris hangs on in a tight one, 44 to 42. Stay at Crosswell Lexington High School, where the host team, the Pioneers, took on Port Huron. Cross Lex looks to break the press and do it perfectly as Cody Mavir puts in the easy bucket to start the scoring for the Pioneers. Max Noel goes for three right here, misses, but Medivir cleans it up and gives it back to Noel, who hits the short range jumper. Pioneers move the ball quickly up court in James Krampus. Puts up and up and over the defender in the student section is feeling jolly. Shane Slenek would get the rebound, turn around the side to shoot it, and it's good. But the Red Hawks were too strong tonight as they beat Cross Lack 60 to 54. Now let's zone in on the Bronco Holiday Classic, the host North Branch taking on Flint Southwestern. This was the third place matchup in the tournament as we pick things up in the first quarter. Will Racine driving and then kicking out to Braden Robinson knocks down the three pointer finishing with eight points tonight. Now here come the Jaguars. Jaante Hill takes it himself, draws the foul, gets the bucket finishing with seven points tonight, but the Broncos back with it. Ephraim Rachow gets the pass for the wide open three pointer right up top, buries it over in the second half. Now Southwestern keeping pace. Jaquavin Sanders, nice move around the defender, gets the two pointer finishing with a team high 10 points, but North Branch pulling away in the fourth. Logan DeHorty from the wing, knocking down the triple as North Branch gets the win 49 to 34. Over to the finals of the Bronco Holiday Classic. Lapeer taking on Clio first quarter and Will Fisher driving straight through the Mustangs defense. The sophomore lays it up and in for the Lightning. Over to Malachi Murray who has it for Clio. Nice pass to Jackson Frappier who cuts in and isn't phased by the contact. Gets the bucket and one. Near the end of the first quarter, 3.7 seconds to go. Talon Sumner inbounds it to Connor Brown. Mid-air pass to Zach Olenizak. He banks in the long range three-pointer as the buzzer sounds, but Clio wouldn't go away. The game goes on and Christian Lokinski keeps it alive. Mike Cook in the corner, banging home the three-pointer. Clio wins the Bronco Holiday Classic, defeating Lapeer 51-47. 
Well, let's head to Flint, where Powers Catholic welcomed Corona to town. The Chargers are undefeated this season, 6-0 heading into this one. Santa Claus saying hello, of course. Powers Catholic going to give it up to Connor Kelly in the corner. He drills the triple. The Chargers continue to roll off the inbounds play. Jesse Cole going to drive in and finish the play. The Cavaliers not going anywhere, though. Braylon Sosia with the tough turnaround jumper here. Well, that's nothing but net beauty of a play. Corona keeps the momentum going. They would find Wyatt Bauer, pretty solid football player at the top of the key. Bang for three, but Powers Catholic would protect their home floor. Dempsey Cole with the contested triple try. Doesn't matter. That's bottoms. Chargers stay perfect. They get the win 67-51.